So let's quickly talk, talk about the method for green body formation. There are different ways to form the pre-centering ceramic body. The simplest one is just by mechanical compaction, pressing a pallet, something like that. Here I'm showing the image for so-called a die, right? Have you seen this? Yeah. Typical steel die typical cylindrical shapes that may be other shaped and you put the powder loaded them into the die side and press them with a mechanical press okay typically dry pressing or semi-dry pressing in metal dies uniaxle which means you only apply pressure along one direction or sometimes people put a plastic uh, uh, or rubber kind of surrounding and then isostatic applying pressure from all directions through a liquid advantage is it's simple it's fast disadvantages are its limited shape and dimension you can make a cylindrical shape easily um making a complex shape is impossible Okay, and the dimension by dimension, you cannot really make very thin films. Uh, microstructure uniformity is also difficult to guarantee because over a large area, believe it or not, the friction will cause non uniform pressure and a non uniform packing, especially when it gets larger and larger. And casting casting here is not by melting but by casting a suspension also called a slurry your colloidal suspension colloidal slurry here we show the image of typical tape casting casting slurry onto a tape and doctor blade it to get a relatively thin but not very thin we call it a thick film plate or just pour essentially suspension into a mold casting it's very common people start to use it from the thousands of years low enough viscosity that flows under its own weight advantage we can form complex shape those fancy shaped uh, jars water jars water bottle okay disadvantage we have to dry the solvents it takes much longer and the volume shrinkage due to the added solvent and so as maybe polymers, the shrinkage may be large, may be larger than dry pricing, which needs to be managed. If you don't manage the shrinkage well, we quite often we would have cracking, we would have so-called warping or bending, un unwanted bending in certain uh, cases. Okay, this is casting. The last one is called plastic forming, which is like we're show, showing something like this. You are extruding quite often a highly viscous paste. A lot of solid, very little liquid, but it can still plastically flow by forcing them through certain mechanical dye, metal dye. Okay, and we can extrude them into this multi-ball linear structure or some other related structures. Okay. Plastic um, shaping ceramic powder paste, read this word, typically it's highly viscous. We call them no longer slurry, we call them paste or even dull, like uh, you're handling flour, okay? By applying mechanical compressive stress or shearing stress. Advantage is relatively fast, continuous production, but of course it still have limited shape or dimension capability, okay? So here is we show the green body formation the different methods again mechanical pressing casting plastic forming mechanical uh, pressing we have die compaction or isostatic compression pressing one is quite often uni direction the other one from multiple direction through a application of a fluid over a rubber kind of container uh, typically for dye compression you are handling powder or free flowing granule when we say granule it's just the powder you intentionally from fine powder you form them into 
larger particles that are I don't know 20 micron or even 100 micron that enable them to flow very easily okay for simple shape mostly pallets and short cylinders um, isostatic pressing similar feed material powder of free-flowing granules large and more intricate shape but because of that the rubber thing is still complex for casting we have slip casting we have tape casting Tape casting is casting onto a carrier film, typically very thin layer of material with high bundle content because the tape quite often you bend it back and forth to enable you to bend it back and forth you need a lot of polymer bundle that gives you that uh, elastic properties. Slip casting you typically have low bundle content you just pour the slurry and then wait for it to dry. Slip casting for thin wall shape can be intricate tape casting only for pretty much film. Okay. Plastic forming, we have extrusion or injection molding. Extrusion, we're using thick paste, very viscous paste with some binder solution. Elongated shape, typically linear with uniform cross section simple uniform cross section injection molding we have granular powder paste with some binder we can form intricate shape but uh, you have to do inject stop release inject stop release not continuous production okay